morning everybody. Uh, my paper is a published paper. The title is uh, the, the title is Heaven with Mosai and with Protein. A uh, little bit of introduction, fresile hesidin tried protein is a tumor suppressor protein and it is an intermediate biomarker. Gradual decrease in fit protein expression had been observed from normal colonic mucosa to precancerous and cancerous lesions. Aberrant cryptophosci are considered as earliest neoplastic lesion in colorectal carcinogenesis. And aberrant cryptophosci, which is shortly known as ACF, uh, could be hyperplastic or dysplastic on uh, histology. Aims and objectives of the study was to characterize ACF in adjoining non-cancerous colonic mucosa and to study the fit protein and KI67 as we all know is an extra proliferative cell marker expression in ACF and to correlate with clinical profiles and tumor characteristics. Uh, in the materials and methods, in briefly, there were 75 resected specimens of uh, sporadic colorectal cancer with no association with any predisposing condition or family history or metachronous neoplasm. Mucosa adjacent to the tumor were used to study the ACF on gross and histology. Carcinomas were classified according to WHO. Immunohistochemistry was carried out by using peroxidase and anti-peroxidase method. And controls which were used were normal colonic or rectal mucosal biopsies. Interpretation of the immunohistochemistry, the fit protein intensity was studied. It was interpreted as negative, weak, moderate, or strong. And KI67 in colonic crypt was uh, interpreted as basal, middle third positivity, upper third, or the surface positivity. And statistical analysis were applied appropriately. And coming to the results, the sex ratio male female was 3 is to 1. The age range in males were 40 to 86. And in females, it was 45 to 70 years. And more than 50 years of uh, uh, years of age were seen in 40, 54 patients. Non-vegetarian or patients who were on mixed diet were constituting around 76% of our study population. Now coming to the tumor characters, 56% of the tumor were less than 5 centimeters and 4% only were more than 10 centimeters in size. And the common site of the tumor was seen in the colon followed by in the rectum. And coming to the grading, tumor differentiation, the commonest type of tumor was seen uh, were moderately differentiated, which was seen in 72% of the cases. Now, to coming to the TN and uh, staging, T3 tumor was the commonest tumor, which had formed around 84%. There were nine cases where there was ileal involvement, which was seen, and there was uh, 15 cases of N1 and N2 was seen in three cases, and the commonest tumor staging was seen in stage 2, A and B and C, and stage 3 uh, followed by stage 3. Liver metastasis was seen in three cases. And now I will just show few two, two, uh, three slides of the photograph. This is the gross photograph where one can identify the, the ACF focus. They are seen as the deep depressed granular mucosa, which were more frequently seen adjacent to the main tumor. And this is another focus slightly away from the uh, tumor focus. And this is the histology of ACF. This is a hyperplastic type of ACF. And this is the uh, dysplastic type of ACF. And these are the fit immunostaining. This is a normal colon. This is a normal pattern of uh, fit positivity, which is strongly, this is, would be strongly positive. And this is moderately. And this is weakly positive. And this is a carcinoma where the fit staining was negative. And now coming to the fit expression, it was studied in three groups of, uh, uh, three groups of uh, samples. One was in the hyperplastic ACF, one was in the dysplastic ACF, and in the carcinoma group. There were two, 12 cases of carcinoma where there was no staining or no expression of the fit protein. And uh, there was the expressions in different groups. There was no difference, uh, uh, no significant difference. 
and this is with the sex, male and female, and uh, in, uh, this was studied in all the three groups, and then uh, by classifying the fit pr protein intensity into weak, moderate, and strong intensity, and there was no significant difference in the different groups. And in the, uh, with the age, uh, the significant difference was uh, age groups were classified into 50 years and less than 50 years and more than 50 years, and uh, there was a statistical significant was seen in the, the more a higher intensity of strong intensity of fit protein expression was seen in the carcinoma group in elderly individual that is above 50 years of age. And then with the vegetarian and the non-vegetarian dietary habits, and there was a significant difference between vegetarian and the non-vegetarian were observed in the hyperplastic group and also in the carcinoma group. Uh, in non-vegetarian group, we have bigger, more number of cases which belong into the weaker group and in a, which was significantly different between vegetarian and non-vegetarian. And now this is with the smoking. Non-smokers tend to have stronger intensity of weaker of the fit protein expression which was statistically significant in the hyperplastic group. And this was the intensity of the fit was studied against the KI67 expression and there was no difference in the pattern of the KI67 expression. And now to conclude our study, weaker fit intensity was associated with less than 50 years of age, smoking status that a non-smoker had stronger expression, non-vegetarian diet had uh, weaker expression, advanced stage tumor had weaker expression, and also uh, with increased KI67 expression. Loss of fit protein expression possibly is influenced by environmental factors like smoking and non-vegetarian diet intake. And these are the references, and thank you very much for your kind attention.